I'm Métis. My mother is Plains Cree Indian. My grandfather is a residential school survivor. My wife is Filipina. My children are multiracial. We were Freedom Convoy supporters. Trudeau tried to seize my bank account because he thinks I'm a racist and extremist. Trudeau must go. Hmm. I'm just going to read some of these. I am a 39-year-old mother of one. I have a Bachelor of Medical Science, Master's in Medical Biochemistry, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, Two years as an immunization nurse for the government of Canada. I'm a registered nurse, psychotherapist, and according to Trudeau, I'm an unscientific misogynist that needs to be dealt with. I'm going to read some more. I'm 35, fourth generation, married mom of a three-year-old, CEO, Bachelor of Business Administration Honors, bilingual, musically and academically gifted. I advocate for terminally ill cancer patients and donate time teaching young women business skills. According to Trudeau, I should not be tolerated. Trudeau must go. Hmm. Here's another one. I'm a 34-year-old Jamaican, born Canadian, engineer and project manager. I'm a husband and father of two young boys, five and two, because I made a different medical choice. Justin Trudeau says I'm an ideologically motivated extremist, racist, and misogynist. Trudeau must go. Aren't these fun? Don't you like meeting these people? I am a 36-year-old female and a former young liberal who sat on shoulders at rallies and canvassed. I became a proud conservative when liberals became unrecognizable, unquestioning, and intolerant, because I am unvaccinated, Justin Trudeau thinks I'm a racist misogynist. Trudeau must go. Hmm. Here's one. I am 26-year-old, second-generation immigrant, university-educated, tax- and attention-paying citizen who watched the country value a snake oil PM's opinions over their own blood. Fed up with the intentional divide and being called mean names by someone who's supposed to have our backs, Trudeau must go. Just give me a couple more. This is a good one. I'm an indigenous woman, and I've worked 15 years in the natural resource sector. I'm fluent in three languages. I'm vaccinated, and I respect the decisions of others. I'm anti-poverty. I'm Canadian. But Justin Trudeau calls me an extremist with unacceptable views. Trudeau must go. I'm 68. I served 33 years in the Canadian Army, including five operational tours. I have PhD in physics, was a business owner, pay taxes, and do volunteer work. I believe in free choice. According to Justin Trudeau, I'm an extremist that needs to be dealt with. Trudeau must go. I just got to give you this next one. I'm a, do you see the name there, Kyle Kemper? That's Trudeau's half-brother. I'm a 37-year-old father of four and a half. How you do that math? Entrepreneur, crypto OG, and proud Canadian. For two decades, I've been calling BS on the corporatocracy, and my brother, Justin Trudeau, has become a captive in their scheme. It's time Trudeau must go, and for Canada to become a sovereign nation again. Boy. You know, I really would like a coffee table book of the best of these. Like, they're beautiful people of every shape and size and age and color and background. They're all speaking from the heart. It's reclaiming their identity. You know, they were made to feel afraid and marginalized. I mean, remember this, thug. Oui, on va s'en sortir de cette pandémie par la vaccination. Puis on sait, on en connaît tous des gens qui sont en train d'hésiter un petit peu. On va continuer d'essayer de les convaincre. Mais il y a aussi des gens qui sont farouchement opposés à la vaccination. Ils sont extrémistes. Qui ne croient pas dans la science, qui sont souvent misogynes, qui sont souvent racistes aussi. C'est un, 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 une petite, un petit groupe, mais qui prend de la place. Et là, il faut faire un choix en tant que leader, en tant que pays. Est-ce qu'on... Est-ce qu'on tolère ces gens-là ou est-ce qu'on dit, ben voyons, la plupart des gens, presque 80 des Québécois, ont fait ce qu'il fallait faire, se sont fait vacciner, on veut revenir à, 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 aux choses qu'on aime faire. Ce n'est pas ces gens-là qui vont nous bloquer maintenant. Or remember this one. You don't want to comment on the triage because it's a provincial jurisdiction, but so are movies, so are gyms, all of those types of things. And you also say, you, you look pretty angry about it, that they're putting, you know, kids and people who are vulnerable, vulnerable at risk. Um, are they not putting some people who may not get the treatment they need in hospitals at risk? Um, and yes, we can all say to a certain extent that it, 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 it is... Um, unfortunate that people who chose not to get vaccinated are now the ones clogging up our ICU systems and our hospital beds that should be available for people who did their work and did get vaccinated. That is really unfortunate and that is why we are unequivocal. They don't get to put others at risk by not getting vaccinated. Or remember this guy, 
from the Ottawa police. What a disgrace he is. If the protesters at this point, uh, you know, uh, retreat and go home, uh, are they going to be getting sort of repercussions down the road? Or are you going to be sort of actively pursuing the people that you've been sort of documenting and filming who are still out there protesting? What are your plans after this, uh, after the protest is over? So thank you. It's a great question. And the simple answer is yes. If you are involved in this protest, we will actively look to identify you and follow up with financial sanctions and criminal charges. Absolutely. We, we, this investigation will go on for months to come. It has many, many different streams, both from a federal uh, financial level, from a provincial licensing level, from a criminal code level, from a municipal breach of court order, breach of court injunction level. It will be a complicated and time consuming um, investigation that will go on for a period of time. You have my commitment that that investigation will continue and we will hold people accountable for taking our streets over. Yeah, seriously. Who the hell were they trying to make us feel bad? They were trying to make us feel bad about peaceful opposition to Trudeau and his extremist policies. And I think it, it scared people for a bit, but half a million people, you know, I don't know if I mentioned that, half a million people did this, or at least half a million people were tweeting about others doing it, tweeting about Trudeau must go. It was huge. I don't think there's ever been such a large grassroots rebellion on social, conservative by cons uh, on social media by conservatives. It was amazing. I've never seen that before. But you know who panicked? This guy, Trudeau's disgraced advisor and childhood friend, Gerald Butts. He said, the real question is, who is paying for this campaign, according to Trudeau? Um, who's paying for this campaign? How do you pay for a half a million different Canadians to tweet or retweet something? Like, can, can I get paid for tweeting? Because I sort of do it as a hobby. Can I get my cut? He went on a bit of a rant about it. He went all conspiracy theory about it. But look at what that means. He's saying that there is no way the Canadians can't share his love for Trudeau. It's impossible that anyone doesn't love the Sun King. You know, it must be fake. It, it must be paid for by someone, probably Vladimir Putin. Talk about conspiracy theories. But really, I think he's projecting. I didn't know you could pay people to tweet things. I mean, obviously you can pay people to tweet things, fake things, but these were real people. Does Gerald Butts buy fake tweets for the Liberal Party? He seems to know a lot about doing that, doesn't he? What you just saw was an excerpt from my nightly show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every weekday, I do a monologue. Usually, it's about half an hour. Then I interview an interesting guest, and then we read my hate mail or my fan mail, whichever is more fun. It's only available behind a paywall, though. That's how we pay our bills here at Rebel News. We don't take a dime from Justin Trudeau. But the good news is it's only 8 bucks a month, about half the price of Netflix, and in addition to my weekly, sorry, my nightly show, you also get weekly shows from four other friends here at Rebel News. So you're getting 36 shows a month just for eight bucks. I think it's worth it. And even if you're not quite sure, do it anyways, because we rely on viewers like you to keep us free and independent. I promise you I'll never take a dime from Trudeau. Just go to rebelnewsplus.com and click subscribe. Thanks.